ground lease is an ownership structure where you have one party that owns the dirt essentially and another party that owns the what's on top of the dirt the buildings the improvements and this is a it, it sounds simple but it's a lot more complicated especially when you have lenders involved because now if a lender's stepping into the deal the lender needs to understand okay well what am i financing what's my collateral am i financing the dirt am i financing the improvements am i am i financing both and so you have to get a lender comfortable with these arcane structures. And like you, like you mentioned, the, the real question mark and the real headache that we were trying to avoid with Cortland Med Center was having to do things sequentially. First, buy the REIT and then with a bridge loan and then unwind the REIT, get our hands on the real estate directly, direct ownership of the real estate. And then now that we own the real estate, then bifurcate it into ground lease where the improvements are owned separately and the ground is owned separately, which then would effectuate our property tax exempt structure. Now, of course, the problem with that is doing it sequentially, you buy it on a bridge loan, you're going to have like half a million dollars in closing costs and fees to do the bridge. And then you're going to have to refi quickly pay, pay fees and penalties going out and the transaction costs of doing a new loan, which we had budgeted for. And the numbers still made sense, right? We had pitched the deal to investors. Hey, worst case scenario, we're going to have to have these extra closing costs, but here are the numbers on that basis. Now, in the end, our interest rate came way down. Our debt proceeds came up. Our, we got an extra year of interest only, and we were able to avoid the extra transaction costs of doing it sequentially because we were able to do it all at once because we were able to essentially look through the REIT and then do the structuring inside of the REIT. So that way, when we winded it up, we were left with the property tax exempt structure we were looking for all along. So going straight to agency reduces risk, reduces cost. So we're, uh, you know, we're really excited about being able to pull all that off for our investors.